Today, I'm gonna go over my one month review of the Samsung Galaxy S20, and a lot of it will also be comparing it to the Samsung S10e, just because that's where I'm coming from. So the first thing up on the list is the form factor. I really enjoy this one over the S10e just because of one big thing, and it's the power button. It's really easy to press, and the power button is already at the spot where my thumb naturally sits, so that's a huge plus. Now the phone is also slightly taller so it's harder for me to reach on the top part of the screen but that's not much of a big deal if I'm using one-handed mode. Now getting into the phone is really slow for me, both the face detection and the fingerprint sensor. And coming from the S10e, the fingerprint sensor feels like a really big downgrade, it's super slow and a lot of times it doesn't even recognize my fingers. And especially if you have dry fingers, you're basically not going to get in at all. Now for face detection, it is faster on S10e as well. I feel like I can get in more with wider angles. With the S20, I have to be directly in front of it. So for security reasons, I guess it's better on S20. But if you care about just getting into the phone, S10e is still faster for me. When you're in really dark places, the face detection does not work as well. And especially if I'm about to go to bed and all the lights are off, of course that's not gonna work. So for me, I hope that they improve on the biometrics on this phone because ever since I got it, I feel like I'm using the pin a lot more. And sometimes I think just using the pin is faster than using a face ID or the fingerprint sensor. Now for edge detection, some of you guys really love flat phones and so far I haven't gotten any missed clicks or missed touches from my palms and if you are super scared about it, I would just get a case because it will just get your skin away from it. Other than that, it's really not much of a big worry if you care about the edge detection stuff. So no problems there. Now for performance, I don't really think that there's an upgrade here or I don't feel like I've got an upgrade because I'm a casual user. I go on Facebook, Google stuff, and even just watch some videos, nothing too hardcore. So I just feel like the performance side of things is the same experience from the S10e up until the S20. So if you're a casual user, you probably don't even feel different. So if you care about performance, the S10e can still last you a very long time. So on paper, yes, it is faster because it has the latest chip, but as I'm using it throughout my daily life, I don't really feel a big difference. Next up is battery life. This thing is just way better than S10e. Throughout my vacation in Japan, I've been recording a lot of videos on this phone and using the camera is pretty battery intensive. And after looking at the battery life, I still have a lot more juice left to use throughout the rest of my day. Now I've been sticking with the 60 hz screen settings just because I value more on the battery life than having smoother animations, but I did try out the 120 hz screen settings and it still would last me throughout the whole day. Now for camera, I think Samsung phones offer the best all around package for the camera. It doesn't have the best video or doesn't have the best camera for pictures, but you do get a really good solid package on both ends. So that is my one month review of the Samsung Galaxy S20. I got to use it at home and I got to use it traveling to another country. So, so far I really like everything about it. I think this is like my favorite compact phone that offers a lot of features. My biggest cons about this phone is the fingerprint sensor and the face detection. I feel like after being spoiled by the iPhone and Pixel 4's performance, I just feel like this is really slow. And especially coming from S10e with that fingerprint sensor, this is also very slow. So is it really worth it if you're coming from the S10e? Most likely not. A lot of the things, especially the performance, is about the same. If you guys are interested on S10e or the S20, I do have links down below. Please follow me on Instagram, give a like, subscribe, hit the bell, and thanks for watching.